Time now for the PHL new news report for this Monday afternoon, November 17th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Woods here now. Your new news at 9 here, and our top story at 12 noon here is. A surgeon who had tested negatively for the deadly Ebola virus in Zealand before testing positive days later has died on Monday in an Omaha, Nebraska medical center in Annapolis. Washington. Republicans and anti-groups used anonymous Twitter accounts to share internal polling data ahead of the midterm elections as CNN has learned that a practice that raises questions about whether they violated campaign finance laws. Several states whose health exchange websites failed their first test during the last year's inaugural Obamacare in an enrollment period have adopted different approaches for the second round, which began Saturday. On Sunday, demonstrators lay on the ground with chalk headlines representing mock cramp scene during a protest making the 100th day since the shooting death of Michael Brown in St. Louis, Missouri. In Moscow, Russia has deported several Polish and one German diplomat in recent days. The latest are a series of tit for tat explosions that have come along with mounting tensions between Russia and European governments over the crisis in Ukraine. Activists announced Monday that it will buy its pharmaceutical peer, Elogen, and a $66 billion deal with the main effort by Valiant Pharmaceuticals to require the Botox manufacturer for the hostile takeover. The EU's foreign minister have agreed to move towards a place of more Ukrainian separatists under the sanctions, but not an increased sanctions on Russia despite concern over escalating violence. A 22 year old Frenchman and a young Brit, both whom they respect homeland to join Islamic State funds, are among those seen on tape with student soldiers in propaganda video showing beheaded American aid worker Peter Kessig. In Washington, as President Barack Obama and Congressional Republicans profess to search for common ground, both sides are permitting law of grenades, the President and Executive Act on Immigration, the new Congress by the making a repeal. Plays have released a surveillance footage of a man suspected of shoving a stranger off a subway platform to death in New York City as a hunt for the unidentified assailant. European Central Bank President Mario Draghi explicitly cited government bond buying as a policy tool officials could use to simulate the economy and the outlook worsen. Four days after the news broke that Al Burton was in talks to buy a fellow oil service company, Baker Hughes, it appears that Dale has struck and Al Burton will pay $34 to $34 billion to acquire its rebel. The yen rebounded from its weakest level since 2008 versus the year after Japan's economy sank unexpectedly in a recession, reviving the demand for safer assets. The Federal Reserve could act. Interest rates in mid-2015 in the U.S. economy continues to peace, but monetary accommodation is needed for now because inflation is likely to remain weak for some time, the Federal Governor said on Monday. Gas prices in Massachusetts continue to drop, hit $2.93 a gallon. Facebook is working on a collaboration tool for businesses called Facebook at work in a bid to complete with similar tools from Google, LinkedIn, and Microsoft. Playing heavily with our legacy and history cards of morning, Ford has given us a first look at the next shiny thing that 2016 Shelby GT350 Mustang makes its entrance today. The legend returns. But next up, now reports that the State Department and service were attacked at the same time as both systems remain under attack, which has you now led to the service to be suspended while security upgrades take place. Talk about a Sunday, bloody Sunday. Singer Bono and his bandmates on YouTube have scrubbed their week long residency international have revealed that the frontman injured his arm in a second spill in Central Park. Talk about style. Beyonce and her crew look standing at Slunge and Knowles and Alan Ferguson's wedding this weekend as the group posed for artistic photos at the Sunday. Wedding classically dressed in all white ensembles are very styles. Four members of One Direction debuted their fourth studio album, Four, at today show on Universal Orlando Resort Monday, but they're all important fifth member. Sam Milik was absent. The annual linear meteor shower is expected to peak late Monday night and early Tuesday morning. Don't get your hopes up too high, though. High resolution pictures are now been released at the Philly Probe in the act of London on Comet 67P last Wednesday. They were required by the narrow angle camera in the west of the satellite, which has dropped a little over about towards the surface of the one aspect of the planetary formation is in main and dynamic as observations of young star systems. It closed that it usually takes less than five million years of the state stars planets to form and perhaps much less. In Chicago, American companies in battle drug safety as effective at reducing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and have a heart problem as large as a long way to trial, marking a new milestone in the four year battle to fight cardiovascular disease by lowering its risk of heart attacks. Police tape and warning signs are seen outside a duck farm in Nafton in Northern England as bird food found in UK Netherlands, but I've already saved little risk of humans. 
In Los Angeles, the Center of Disease Control Prevention, it says, one seventy two people on a cruise ship that arrived in California on Sunday had fallen ill with a highly contagious norovirus threat, a nearly month-long trip. Being born premature as NASA passed individual infectious diseases as the number one cause of death in young children around the world, according to a new study. Here. In stock markets, Dow Jones and Industrial Ash, closed 17,619 for 32, down 15.42. SP 500, 2036.25, down 3.57. NASDAQ 4663.35, down 25.19. Here. European markets, DAX 9306.35, up 53.41. FTSC 6671.97, up 17.60. CAC 4426.10, up 23.64. And the Asian markets here, Nikkei NIT 6973.80, down 517.03. Shanghai 2475.12 down 3.70. HSI 2397.08 down 90.30. Oil markets here. 75 dollars even down 82 cents. Brent 78 and a half down 91 cents. And natural gas 4.185 up 165,000 a point. Here the gold markets 1182 down 3.60. Silver 60.065 down 249,000 a point. And copper, copper 3.043 down 35,000 a point. In the bonds markets, U.S. 10-year yield 2.3346%, up 1,500 a point. German 10-year yield open 803%, up 4,000 a point. And Japanese 10-year yield open 48, up 3,000 a point. In the FX, European U.S. dollar 1.2455, down 66,000 a point. U.S. dollar Japanese yen 116.42, up 15 cents. And Great Britain Pan, U.S. dollar 1.5647, down 2,000 a point. There. Okay, let's take a look at New England in so not alert. In Salem State University, need to be aware let later today that the university will be testing its new emergency alert notification system. This is only a test. And in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts, a second alarm fire on 53 Seymour Street. There. Take a look at sports news here. On this Monday afternoon here, Jonas Gray. Before that was unknown, but then. He tore up the field, had 38 carries for 199 rushing yards, four touchdowns as the New England Patriots defeat the Indianapolis Colts last night, 42 to 10. And the enormous gamble 2012 seemed to fall in front, but Ken Washington Redskins still salvage something from Robert Griffin III. And tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the Garden Thing on the Phoenix Suns. Peter Tell News on now, 12.07 here, and it's time now for our little travel report, and it's smooth sun on ways by ways here. <coughs> In Medford, no accident at 93 northbound and 33 Roosevelt, Circle and Fellway. But otherwise, a smooth sand commute on this noon hour. Lunchtime commute here. Peter Channel News Time 1207. Time now for the weather report here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts. 40 degrees out temperature light rain fog and mist. Humidity 93%. With speed north is about 5 miles per barometer. 20 for 72 inches. Super about 46 degrees. Visibly 3 miles. Wind chill about 46 degrees. Okay, current conditions around the region here. It's 44 degrees at Tepter right now in Boston and Boston Harbor. It's 36 in Fitchburg, 38 in Bedford, 42 in Beverly, and in Gloucester, 38 in Averill, 34 in Worcester, 37 in Surbridge, 38 in Webster, 39 in Milford. It's 42 in Newton, 44 in Taunton, 47 in New Bedford. It's 48 in Plymouth, 52 in Palmstown, 53 in Chatham, 50 in Falmouth, 51 in Cape Cod Bay, 52 in Marfa, 56 in Nantucket, 46 in Balkan, 43 in Westerly, 39 in Smithfield. It's 47 in New York City, 48 in Islip. It's 48 in Montauk, 46 in Lansdowne, 43 in Bridgeport, 42 in New Haven, 38 in Denver, 37 in Waterbury, 38 in Meriden, and in Hartford, and in Winslow, 36 in Springfield, 35 in Amherst, 35 in Greenfield, it's 36 in Apple, 36 in North Hams, it's 35 in Pittsfield, 35 in Albany, New York, it's 33 in Glens Falls, New York, 36 in Redland, Vermont, it's 38 in Mayton, 35 in Broward, 36 in Keene, Hampshire, 33 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 36 in National Hampshire, 33 in Manchester, Hampshire, 37 in Parkland, Hampshire, 34 in Cochrane, and Lockport, Hampshire, and 38 up in Port Maine, near. Okay, let's take a look at map situation around the country. Here shows station front down from Mexico, merging with a cold front from northeast of Mexico, searching the Gulf of Mexico, down from western Georgia, western Florida Panhandle, and then a warm front down from the Carolinas, and a station front off the Virginia coastline at the sea. And another station front from Alberta, stretching down from Rockies here, and a cold front from Colorado, stretching down from Oklahoma, down from Missouri, down from Indiana, down from west Michigan, and pink from northwest Michigan, up in the Ontario with a low pressure right there. You get a far by up in the northern Ontario, James Bay. And then a front of mine from West UP, Michigan, down for Northern Minnesota, down for North Dakota. You got a front of mine down for the California coastline, down for the Gulf of California. And we got a front of mine from Southeastern Arizona, stretching it down for the Gulf of California here. Yeah. And we got another front of mine from Western Pennsylvania, stretching it down for Virginia, the Eastern Kentucky, and Tennessee. And the ridge of high pressure from British Columbia, stretching it down for the Rockies, beyond 
the stationary frontier. And we got low pressure off the New Jersey coastline and high pressure in southwestern Saskatchewan here. 33 degrees at temperature matter in Detroit, Michigan, 38 in Pittsburgh, 45 in Washington, D.C. It's 58 in Atlanta, Georgia, 82 in Miami, Florida. It's 44 in Brownsville, Texas, 28 in Dallas, Texas, 18 in Kansas City, 14 in Omaha, Nebraska, 15 in Chicago, 9 above in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 19 in Great Falls, Montana, 29 in Seattle, 51 in San Francisco. It's 60 in Los Angeles. It's 44 in Las Vegas, 18 in Salt Lake City, 20 in Denver, 44 in Vegas, 57 in Phoenix, and 20 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here, take a look at a radar situation here, and we'll refresh it. And we're seeing some light to moderate bands of rain around the Boston and Points, North and Midwest, Boston and Switzerland, and Danford, much of Massachusetts, and Danford, Connecticut, extreme northwest and down. Spotty rain showers between Fall River and Bedford and around Middlebury here. And a little rain showers around Brockton up in the situation up in Hingham here. And line of rain showers around Nantucket and Switzerland on the southeastern portions of the Cape Downs around Chatham, East Ham, and Ecstasy. And we'll zoom in out and then rain standing up in the southeastern New Hampshire up in the coastal Maine here. Sleeting around central Maine up in New Hampshire down from Vermont and stretching the dam to Upstate New York here, and line of rain shots stretching from Boston all the way down through Connecticut and down from much of New York State, down to the Atlantic Seaboard from New York State, all the way down through Western Florida here. So, now from Tallahassee, Florida, all the way up to Augusta, Maine, it will be impacted here by much of the region and walls. We've seen some snow showers around New Brunswick and stretching it all the way out. To extreme northern New England, up to southern Quebec, and down for Ontario, and stretching the down through western New York, Pennsylvania, down for eastern Great Lakes, eastern Ohio, down for western West Virginia, here. And rain showers stretching it up the Nova Scotia and up the Pennsylvania Island, and snow sleeting around Pennsylvania and down there. We got snow showers western in, uh, Michigan and down northern India, central India, and down for Missouri, here, and snow showers around southeastern portions of Minnesota, and spotty snow showers from Montreal, stretching the down to Minnesota, Saskatchewan, and Alberta, and snow shots from Western Wyoming, and Africa, Colorado, here. And we'll take you down to St. Louis. Radar here, and it shows some spotty snow showers, man, west, uh, the, west of the St. Louis metropolitan area, and, and stretch of the dam to Jerseyville, around Alton here, and up in the Hannibal, down to Jacksonville, and stretch it down to Warrington, down to Mexico, down to Canaan here. Okay, take a look at our satellite loop here, and it shows mm -hmm. a lot of clouds coming up to the eastern seaboard and coming up to the Great Lakes, and then straight to the dam for the southern states, down for Gulf of Mexico here, and line clouds from the Great Lakes, straight down the northern Mississippi Valley, down to the Dakotas, and then for Nebraska, straight to the down for eastern Alberta, straight to the down the Great Lakes, and and stretching out Atlantic Canada and Atlanta Clouds from British Columbia. And stretching it down the Pacific coastline here. Okay, let us take a look. What is brewing in the tropics? A trail of low pressure located 700 miles south of Acapulco, Mexico, has produced a disorient showers and thunderstorms, and some slow development of the system is possible during the next several days, while it moves westward to west northwest, where about 10 to 50 miles an hour. Formation chance for us. Low 10% formation chance for five days. Low 20% here. And let's take a look at what is on a forecast discussion around the country. Here it shows widespread space will continue to develop ahead of an Arctic air mass surge into the eastern United States on Monday. And every snow is expected to downwind in the Great Lakes. A number of blasts of Arctic air surge in fact, the nature will drop temperatures across the central and eastern United States earlier this week. Get the leading edge of frigid air mass. Moisture getting pulled from the Gulf and Atlantic will fuel widespread precipitation ahead of a cold front crossing the Appalachians on Monday. Heavy rains embedded strong to severe thunderstorms are expected in the south for east fall. A winter mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain will be possible over a portion of the interior north of England. The cold front and associated precipitation should clear the eastern three bar by early Tuesday. However, cold air in the Arctic will a shrinning over warmer lake waters that set the stage for some heavy snow bands downwind of the Great Lakes. While an upper ridge of 
centered over the west coast will keep work required in the western United States by the Pacific System inching toward the coastline could bring some preservation to Northern California by the middle of the week. Yeah? In the latest forecast um, discussion here at Rand region here, low pressure will intensify as it passes over. Southern New England in a later day, bringing rain to the region and possibly damaging winds to the southeast New England, mainly dry, but unsafely cold and blustery weather expected Tuesday, throughout the western week, and the be adjusted risk of a few flurries like snow showers Wednesday night appears a significant warmer up is in store for early next week with a high likelihood than above normal temperatures here. Near Okay, take a look at a near term forecast. One area of rain will move off to the northeast and other areas moving up the southwest and the heaviest area of rain is over. The seven elevations but trends up the coastal plain this afternoon and tonight. Most of the perspective over the southern New England is rain, but borderline temperatures 31, 32 degrees observed along the east slopes of the Berkshires and in the Cheshire County, New Hampshire. The 12 Z standing from LA showed temperatures below freezing in 25 foot layer from 1,000 feet to 3,500 feet. So the potential for at least patchy fires and rain is likely still in place in the northwest Massachusetts and southwestern New Hampshire a little longer. We will trim the advisory and leave western New Hampshire, frankly, the Cheshire County to drop the rest. Morning, OAOB's upstream showed 65 knots southwest and low level jet, just about 850 millibars of OKX. Strong winds are found at progressively lower altitudes south of the Carolinas and Georgia. This will be continued during lifting in this afternoon evening and maintaining the rain. As at 10 a.m., the warm front is struck, Nantucket about the staff and all the other service and land sites. The question will be how far north of the warm front moves this season. The 12 Z NAM shows the front reaches Boston and Providence, but crystal for Hartford and Spring Field and Western here. This wouldn't Suggested a potential of strong winds later today would rain in the coastal plain. The warm sector would also be the Earth's most prone to widely scattered thunder, which would aid in bringing some strong wind to the surface. No change exists in wind in Thailand at this time. The other concern will be heavy rain and potential for poor draining and street flooding. Later this afternoon and evening, the air mass upstream of the seven Appalachians produced one half to two inches of rain in the past 24 hours. The NAM and GFS show principal water valves of one and a half inches moving in the right on the nature message by evening, such as valves between Two and three SAT to five about normal for this area. This would support poor drainage flooding, especially in the prominent areas of Red Island, Eastern Massachusetts. A flash flood watch is being should cover in this area from 3 to 11 p.m. And as today will bring rain to run 40 across the interior, where cooler air will be locked in the temperature will rise slow. To 55 and 60 degrees over the coastal plain, where air is, will break into this warm sector here. So a dividing line of temperatures here. So a dividing line of temperatures here in the region here. As as temperature winds possible later today in Rhode Island and East Massachusetts, minor urban and flooding also possible here. As we will take a look at At a flight, we have a flash flood watch in effect from 3 p.m. this afternoon to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this evening. As flash flood watch for portions of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, including the Fallen Counties in Massachusetts, Barnesville, Bristol, Central and Southeast Middlesex County, Essex, Norfolk, Plymouth, and Suffolk County, and Rhode Island, Bristol, Kent, Newport, Providence, and Washington. From 3 p.m. this afternoon to 11 p.m. this evening, additional rain also moved across southern New England this afternoon early tonight. Total rainfall amounts may reach two inches in the spot. The rainfall rates of up to one inch per hour may occur at times this may result in urban and poor drainage flooding. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flood and flash flood is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. And wind advisory remains in effect from 3 p.m. this afternoon to 10 p.m. this evening in the location Rhode Island in eastern Massachusetts. Wind stop about 15-25 miles per gusts up to 55 miles an hour time and Late this afternoon, early in the night, impacts wind gusts may be strong enough to knock down tree limbs and a few power lines, possibly causing some isolated power disruptions here. A wind advisory is issued for wind gusts over the 45 miles an hour, which are capable of causing some minor damage to tree limbs and brief power disruptions. Traffic can also be difficult, especially for high profile vehicles. Day 1 today, tonight, wind advisory, day 2 for 7, 30 to Tuesday for Sunday. No hazard weather is expected at time. So, we're going to take a look at our 7 day forecast. Go like this. For tonight, for today, this afternoon, rain with thunderstorms also possible after 3 p.m. Patch of before 3 p.m. Then patch of after 4 p.m. Minor 58 degrees. Calm wind coming south about 5 to 9 miles by winds could just size 23 miles by chance of precipitation is 8%. New rain for miles between half and three quarters inch possible. 
But the next rain possibly a thunderstorm before midnight, then a slight chance of rain between midnight and 3 a.m. Thunderstorms produce heavy rainfall, punch your ball before 7 p.m. Low around 35 degrees in West Woodmont, 17 miles per gust size, 47 miles by church patients, 9 percent. New rainfall miles between 3 quarters and 1 inch possible for Tuesday. Most of the sky is about 40 degrees. West would about 8 to 40 miles sky size, 25 miles per Tuesday night. Most of the sky is with a low around 21 degrees. Most of the coast skies. West would about 11 to 13 miles sky size, 31 miles per hour. Wednesday, the sky is about 35 degrees. West would about 9 to 40 miles sky size, 29 miles per hour. Wednesday, check the snow showers. Rain between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Most of the sky is low about 25 degrees. Just stay to 30 percent. Thursday, Puck Side Puck Cloud Sky about 44, low about 26 degrees. Friday, Most of the Side Puck Cloud Sky about 38, low about 20 degrees. Saturday, Most of the Side Puck Cloud Sky about 35, low about 25 degrees. For Sunday, Puck the Side Sky about 47 degrees. Peter is one of the of the day. A wet afternoon in store. Then, Strand Cold West of the Week. Peter wins the end. Good day, what a good boss at a few for 4 o'clock report because 545, I'm going to go head to the Norton High School at 10. The Hall Wizards versus Norton Lancers basketball game to be fun. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you at four. Have a good day.